If you are a blogger, this video is absolutely a need for you. You must watch this video till the end. In this video, I'm gonna to show you how to auto create a blog article in seconds. Before we start, I'm gonna to show you my blog. I here have a blog. This blog containing posts about jobs. It's simple and repeated pattern that I use. Job title, what department, experience, job description, job requirements. Of course, this is in Arabic, but I'm gonna to show you how can you do this with a simple and free tools. All what we are gonna to need is a Google form and Google Drive and Google Sheet and of course Google Docs. These three tools that we are going to use to auto-generate article or repeated article that you can use if you hire someone that create content for you as you want. Let's fill this form and I will show you what's going to happen. And added by your hired freelancer. In my case, it's me. By the way, I'm Ram Wahi, Flutter developer and software engineer. And in this channel and in my blog, I give Flutter tips and programming skills related to computer science and computer skills. Don't miss to subscribe to my channel. And before we gonna to su submit the article or the form, I'm gonna show you this, this folder here. I'm gonna to export and generate the article inside here. And as you see, this is fully empty folder. Now we are gonna to submit and go there. Wait seconds. And voila! Call center agent, this is the job title. And if we open this doc, you will find the data that we have entered here, it's in here in the doc with a very simple way. And if you have a freelancer or data collector, he is gonna to submit another response and so on. And so you can create articles very quickly and use it in your blog to get more articles that you can add every day. I don't know what this is, but it's kind of hot. <laughs> of course, it's useful if you are a blogger and want to earn money. I can use these tools every day to save a lot, a lot of time and make a lot of earnings. So how can we do this in very simple way? <laughs> Here we have a template, article template. You can use what template you want. Here I'm using a simple template. So I just need the, the job title and this is a static sentence or static words here, not gonna to change. What is gonna to change all the data inside curly bricks, double curly bricks. And of course it's sensitive. We do care about this space. We do care about if our case letters or not okay this was the first step to create your template or your google doc template the time has come execute order 66 okay after that we are gonna to create a new folder like test we are gonna to name it a test in test we are gonna to create a google doc having here a title title name that, that's enough that's enough for testing. Create a Google form. This is the second step. Now we are going to enter the specific name as it is. Here's the form name. I want to see the same input as you put here. And of course the name. After this, we are going to create a new question. You can use the short answer or you can use multiple choice or a checkbox or a drop box, whatever you want. We done from creating this Google Docs and Google Form and let Google Form create a new spreadsheet for us. Nice. If we go here, we will see this auto-generated Google Sheet. Now we are going to open Google Sheet. We almost did. We finished doing this basic steps. We just need to use a small script that convert the Google Form or the data inside here in Google Sheet to new doc. And how we can do this, focus with me. Here we are gonna to go to extension and open app script. If you didn't find it here, you can find it here in tools. Now we are gonna to delete all of this and we are gonna to use a custom script that I created for you. It's totally free. But if you want this script, you just go to my website and download from the article that I will put the link of it in the description of this video. You can go to this link and open a script here and you can select all of this and copy it. And go here to app script and paste. 
You can't change anything inside here and if you did this, the script won't work for you unless if you can understand what's written there. You will just need to change this red text here. The first one is your template ID. And how can you get this? You go to this template that we created now. And after the D slash, we select this all here. Till the slash before edit. And copy and get and paste it here. And here's the destination folder. Where do you want the output? I'm going to create a new folder here. Name it as out and open this folder. And under the folder slash, this is the ID. Take it copy and go here and paste it here. Now we are going to save and we are going to choose here create a doc from form to just get a permission and press debug and just wait. This loading and getting permission for this folder or this ID, it's going to ask you permission right now. 2000 years later. Now you press review this permission and it's going to go to Google sign up or Google account and press your account the account that have the data in Google Drive okay and press advance and go to untitled program it's totally safe it's asking you access for your account uh, your Google account and to see and edit and create stuff in Google Drive and Google Docs and so on we are going to allow this this is totally safe don't worry after that we are going to go this alarm here triggers we are going to create a new trigger or add a trigger and we are going to choose create a doc from form we are going to open uh, on form submit and notify me immediately if failure happened or something happened and save it's going to ask you again about your google account advance go to your project and allow it and voila, we have the trigger now. It's done! Let's go and test it right now. The title is going to be Water and the name is Rami Rahid. This is my name. Don't forget to subscribe and visit my website, itips.net. Now we are going to go here and you will find the timestamp or the date and the title and the name. And if we go here, you will find this beautiful name. You open it and voila, Water Developer and the name you can use this tools as much as you can i'm presenting this method for free and this is gonna to make your life is way easier if you are a blogger and creating a lot of blogs or even you're hiring a freelancer or a content creator that's gonna to help you to create the content now are you going to go ahead and have those tps reports for us this afternoon let's take this now I'm going to create new post and paste the result of this output. And after that, I'm going to customize it. After that, I publish it on my blog. And this was taking hours from me to create just one job in this blog. Now I can create a lot of articles in one day in no time. This is amazing. If this video was useful for you, even you got one piece of information that helped you or gonna to help you, just please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to visit my website ifips.net. And if you are in Egypt looking for jobs, you can go to jobs.ifips.com. You will find a lot of jobs, real jobs that you can work. I make it easier for you to find a job. That's it for this video. I wish you a lovely day. Goodbye.